Hey there friends, coming at you here with another episode of the Pre-Ride Show from Pure Gravel. Get a chance to spend a few minutes with a new emerging star on the gravel scene, but world record holder nonetheless, Ashton Lambie. Ashton, thanks for joining us, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. Welcome to Bakersfield. Is this one of your, one of your first times in this great city? This is my first time in Bakersfield. Okay, yeah. we're dumping you right here in the heart yeah. of it at the Kern yeah. County Museum yeah. and all the great artifacts I love here. it. I love it. Um, can we talk about the world record for a second? I, yeah, I, I think that's absolutely. such a compelling part of your story. Thanks, yeah. Um, what does that really feel to turn yourself inside out like that for four and a four minutes and four whatever minutes, number of seconds? Yeah. Well, 359. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was brutal. It was at altitude, so I think, you know, there are advantages and disadvantages. Like, a huge anaerobic, like, a huge anaerobic effort like that, like, you just, it hurts so bad when you're done. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you've got lactate in your fingers. Like, yeah. it's just, it's excruciating. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was really satisfying to get it done, and then... How long did it take to get to that point to know that I have what it takes, yeah. At the, uh, right equipment, right time, I can train up for that. Was it a, a three, four year long process? I feel, yeah, I mean, it's it's been a, a work in progress, like ever since I started with the Team Pursuit program. Um, I think it really started, I kind of thought it could be a reality after I rode a 403 in Berlin World Championships in 2020 where I got silver. Um, and I was like, man, sea level 403, like, one, at that point, it was sort of an, an inevitability. Like one of us, us being some of the team or individual pursuit riders that had ridden a sub 405, I was like, someone's gonna go sub four minutes in the next 18 months. This was pre-pandemic, so obviously that threw stuff off. Um, but I had the opportunity and I was like, I wanna be that guy. Like, I think I can do it. Is there anybody else out there right now that can touch that? Or are you constantly, is there, is there are we always this back and forth about who can possibly get Me there? And, and then do I got to go over the top yeah. of them again? I mean, I, I honestly, like, I think Ghana could go do it. Absolutely. Um, I think he's also got, he's got bigger fish to fry, man. Like, yeah. he's world tour. He's like, you know, TT world champion. Busy he's going to go tour, for yeah. the hour, the hour record. Like, you know, we, we had, we had a good time in uh, individual pursuit. Like I've, I've, you know, enjoyed doing it. Uh, but you know, I think we're both kind of doing other stuff now. But I, hundred percent, I think he could do sub four if he put his mind to it. Absolutely. Um, so now, speaking of other things, you transition out yeah. that single gear bike into yeah. this whole gravel thing. Yeah. Is, it, is this going to be a? We're going to see you at a number of races this year, or is this yeah. just dabbling with at the beginning of the season? No, I mean, I kind of, I kind of grew up on the gravel around um, Lawrence. You know, working at Sunflower Bike Shop. Okay. Um, so I've, I've raced gravel for a long time. Um, and I've just kind of been out of it the last three years because I've been doing track. Like okay. I was trying to go to the Olympics and then the world championships and the world record. Um, and so, yeah, I was talking with Pete and I was like, man, I feel like gravel's blown up in the last three years. And like, there's all these people and I don't know them. And Pete's going, yeah. Yeah, he's like, come, yeah, you're right. Come. So, I mean, yeah, for me, like I did the Rift last year. I did Rubidoux last year. So some of like the smaller local stuff. Um, I did I, I did the short distance for a lot of those because okay. I just didn't have time to train. You know, I'm focusing on short events. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm doing the lifetime series this year. Like I was lucky enough to get into that and, uh, you know, I'm going to give that a really good shot. I'm going to learn how to ride a mountain bike. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for, for some new adventures, like stuff I'm stoked to, stoked to do and like learn and be a part of, you know. Well, and even with a three year gap, there's so much that's happened in the there's past so three years. The, the, like you that, said, the yeah. sport has exploded. Yeah. New races adding almost every week it seems yeah. like and the calendar's blown up like, more and more yeah. good brands coming into it and yep. riders being exposed to it yeah um it's fantastic and i think you're a welcome uh, you know a welcome breath of fresh air yeah to the, to the thanks sport. man it's i'm great. excited yeah we're yeah. glad you're here good luck yeah. tomorrow you got any any expectations uh i mean we rode the last like probably 30 miles of the course today okay and i feel like it's it's pretty te it's definitely more technical than midwest gravel like, oh yeah yeah you know the nice undulating but straight hills yeah. in Kansas. Like, if I can get through this tomorrow with like learning some mountain bike skills and not crashing, like I'll feel pretty good about it. I think so. Yeah, Sam's got a lot of the sleeves <laughs> for you guys I tomorrow. Know. So I'm just excited. Like, it's this race has such a, a vibe and such a cult following. Like, I'm excited to to be a part of it. Yeah, yeah, don't be don't be surprised if you start hallucinating and see like square trees and things like that. There's there's some odd stuff I've out heard, there. I'm telling I've you. heard. I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, we appreciate you joining, man. Good luck yeah, this year. We're looking you. forward to seeing how thank well you, you do. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks, man. Ashton Lambie joining us here on the Pre-Ride Show. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.